and uh, the rejection of Phyllis Kandie, the nominee for East African Community Affairs, Commerce and Tourism. KTN's Rita Tinina has the story. Six, the when the report by the Committee on Appointments was tabled before the House, it gave a clean bill to 15 of the 16 Cabinet Secretary nominees and rejected one. This House rejects the appointment of Mrs. Phyllis Jebkosgei Kipkimor Kandie. What followed was a session characterized by numerous points of orders as members sought to know why the Committee had rejected Phyllis Kandie. The only issue that this Committee faulted one nominee for commerce east african tourism the nominee uh, madame kandie was on her performance when she appeared publicly before the committee which is knowledge of relevant subject because of the way she answered her questions she was only fairly shy the reasons for rejection for this particular lady to me were not convincing this committee is a disgrace. An amendment to include Kandia in the list of nominees approved by the committee was moved by the Nairobi County Women Representative Rachel Shebesh. Was she panicky? Moses of all, Mr. Speaker, was a stammerer. It did not stop him, Mr. Speaker, from leading the people of Israel to Canaan, Mr. Speaker. And after a brief debate... Will as many as of that opinion say, I... I. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay, yes. the eyes have it. Members approved Kandia's nomination alongside the 15 other nominees. And just like the debate on Kandia, the amended report generated a heated debate. My proposition, Mr. Speaker, is that this entire list be rejected by the House. It does not justify why two ethnic communities can get four nominees while others do not have. In terms of ethnic representation, this thing is skewed. The House had to extend its sitting hours to discuss the report, and one by one. Mrs. Felis Jebkoske Kibingor Kandie for the Ministry of East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? As many as of a contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. The House approved President Uhuru Kenyatta's choice of 16 cabinet secretaries. The approval now allows the president to formally appoint the nominees to his first cabinet. Rita Tinina, KTN. Let's say that story and question is, is the ability to communicate effectively an indicator of one's ability to deliver in a given position? This is the question that begs after the Committee on Appointments rejected Phyllis Kandie, the nominee for Cabinet Secretary, East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism. Now, members of Parliament who debated the issue this afternoon said she had appeared shy during the vetting exercise and therefore did not present herself well. But others argue that this is not enough to disqualify one from taking up that position. One by one, in the course of three days, 16 nominees for the positions of Cabinet Secretary took their place in the hot seat. All but one would get a nod. President Uhuru Kenyatta speak for Cabinet Secretary for East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism, Phyllis Kandie Itwodi Maj, had failed to convince committee members that she was up to the task ahead. In terms of education. The vetting board had looked at academic qualifications, knowledge about the subject, suitability and integrity. The 48-year-old has a Bachelor of Commerce and an MBA from Middlesex University in the United Kingdom. An investment banker currently serving as a director for investment advisory services at Standard Investment Bank after a stint at the Capital Markets Authority, Kandia's credentials cannot be ignored. So what could have felt Phyllis Kandia? Well, it is reported that committee members felt that she was shy and did not express herself well. Me and my, 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 my department, as it will, it will be called, to actually uh, represent the, 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 the trade issues. The committee is clear that the only reason they have rejected her is because she was stammering, she was not answering, answering as quickly as she should have been answering. 
the ability to communicate is a vital skill in interviews, but questions abound as to whether it is indicative of the ability to deliver. Many times, interviews fail even the very best brains and people because sometimes people get intimidated, sometimes they come maybe ill-prepared. Or is the opposition the result of a push and pull between those who would see the list of nominees sail through and those seeking to throw a spanner in the works? The debate surrounding the nomination of Phyllis Candier and her shy demeanor now taking the country back to a different place and time when the Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs rejected proposed nominees to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission over just one thing, lack of passion. Passion for the job. There is no passionometer. Even then, there was no measure of passion, just as there is no measure of Candia's shyness. Wilkinson Abwa, KTN Prime.